watch out, criminals. The world's worst but most accurate sketch artist is on the job. And it's me. Hello, everybody. I'm Kyle Kian, and welcome back to Lineup. I'm gonna show off my amazing sketch artist skills, of course, today. And by show off, I mean embarrass myself. But that's okay. We've got criminals to catch. And I have 100% accuracy, even though my drawings are very, very bad. What can I say? I really have a knack for drawing people poorly, but somehow accurately. Either way, this guy's tired. So I'm just gonna draw him with, with closed eyes, I guess. Those, or, or maybe like, like you gotta have the little, the little bags underneath your eyes, you know? I kind of got that going on. That's what happens when you have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Or he looks like he's ready to go play a football game. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Next, I think they had just escaped from prison. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what they say. Orange is the new black, right? That's that's what the color that, that prisoners wear. So we're going to go ahead and give them a nice orange colored t-shirt. You know what? Actually, I think in this game, though, the, the prisoner look is the, the black and white stripes. So maybe we'll, we'll kind of like find the middle ground. So I'm actually going to make this person kind of look like a bumblebee. Got to give them black stripes. There you go. Oh my goodness. This is definitely a prisoner if I've ever seen one. That's something. All right, next. We got into a fight. Oh my gosh. Um, does that mean that they have like a, a black eye maybe? One of their eyes, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw like a blue circle around it to indicate they got punched. Is this gonna work? Oh my gosh. They're all baldy. <laughs> Okay, uh, we got orange. A lot of orange. Oh my gosh. Every single person in this lineup is an escaped prison convict. At least we got the orange part right. They're all clones. This is so weird. I do see, okay, you. You, my friend, look like you got in a bit of a tussle. Is he tired? He does. He has the, the dark circle underneath his not punched eye. No one else, no one else fits the bill. This is it. This is the man. You, go back to prison. That's right. Great start. Next case, please. You know what? Let's do one of these special cases. This sounds real scary. The Tea Time Terminator. How scary can you make tea time? Let's find out. The criminal looked a bit goofy. I don't know what that means. Maybe just give them a weird like look on their face. Like, Ugh. and maybe like kind of, kind of crazy eyes. I don't know about that one. Could have been a cowboy, perhaps? Who's the one asking questions here? I guess I'll give you a cowboy hat. Dang, they did not give me a lot of information to work with here. And also, is that really a cowboy hat? Is that the best cowboy hat I can I can muster here with my amazing art skills? I, I guess it is awful. I, I don't even know what a cowboy hat looks like anymore now that I've created this monstrosity. Don't like the sides kind of curve up? Should didn't the sides kind of go up like that? I don't, I don't know, man. Terrible. Just terrible. We're going to try to find this tea time monster. You, you are kind of wearing a cowboy hat, although it looks more like Indiana Jones hat. It's definitely this old lady. Actually, it's not. But she does look like the sort who would be super, super passionate about her tea time. And if things don't go her way, you better watch out. What is the whole thing about him maybe being a cowboy? Is it because like he's wearing a cowboy hat, but he's also <laughs> wearing that? that because I would be very conflicted. I don't think a cowboy would would go out looking like that. He's literally wearing blue striped pants. That's bold, I would say. Does he look goofy though? I mean, yes. Yes, he does. Um, but so does this guy. This guy looks pretty goofy too. Um, yeah. Yeah, you look kind of goofy. What does goofy mean? I mean, aside from being everybody's favorite character from the Disney Corporation, who is also a dog. What does it mean? Goofy. Are you goofy? You're not goofy. You're kind of goofy. Maybe maybe it's referring to the, like, the, the teeth? I mean, this lady, she's wearing a bow tie with a dress. That's pretty goofy. I'm worried this might be our first failed case. I'm very, very confused about this one. Okay, I'm trying to break it down here through process of elimination this guy has almost the same face as this gal right but this guy he is a unique case i think it's him so i'm gonna go with it and hope for the best oh 
Oh, baby! 100% correct all the time, every time. I never doubted it for a second. I had all the confidence in the world that that was gonna be correct. Definitely. Probably. Either way, our record continues on. Next case, please. The art gallery arsonist. Who sets an art gallery on fire? The criminal was well-dressed. Interesting. Does that mean a suit and tie? Does that mean a dress? Let's give him a tie. A pink tie. That's a classy look. I don't, I don't care who you are. If you're wearing a pink tie, you know that this individual means business. Even if they're about to set innocent art gallery on fire. With brown bottoms. Okay, let's, let's give him some some brown bottoms the funny thing about the bottoms is that i can't actually draw pants because the game prevents me from drawing any lower than those two lines that i have at the bottom of these these supposed pants so it's gonna look like the dude is wearing a pink tie with brown shorts actually maybe hear me out maybe they're a ups delivery person just saying delivery person by day arsonist by night next they also had a long nose. I'm gonna make their nose orange, like a Sesame Street character. <laughs> that is, that is quite the nose, I do have to say. Let's finish this look. Oh, that is terrifying. What happened to you? Oh no, why did I give them a smile? Okay, wait, I gotta, their nose has to obstruct part of their mouth. Oh my goodness. Kind of looks sort of like Mario now. This person is actually Mario. Let's, um, let's try to catch this criminal. You're not wearing brown pants. You're also not wearing brown pants. You are wearing a brown skirt, but I don't think that's it. Okay, okay, this fella. Look, look, he's got a weird sausage nose. He's wearing a tie. It's not pink, you know, we'll take it. And brown pants. I think this might be our guy, but let's just double check. I don't know what's going on with her. You look a little cold. Maybe you should, I don't know, warm up. Someone turn a heater on for this lady. She's gonna die of hypothermia. Okay, I think that we found our man. No, it's not you. Let me just double check again. Yeah, no one else is wearing brown pants. Everybody else is wearing brown shorts. Although we did talk about the potential of this person being a UPS delivery person. It's not. They. It specifically said brown pants. I just can't draw pants because I can't draw past a certain point on the paper. Arrest this man. He is guilty. 100%. I knew it. I actually did know it that time. I, uh, I was feeling pretty confident. That previous one, that was a rough one, but this one, I think we got it on lock. That's 31 arrests. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see if the wet bandit has, uh, rehabilitated. Went to bed on time. O okay. I mean, cool. Became captain of a sports team and made friends. I think our weird orange-eyed girl here is ready for release. Let's get her out of here. You've done your time. Congratulations. Yes? Okay, good decision. Thank you. Whew. Thought I was about to get fired for releasing a maniac back into the world. You know what? It's been a while since we've changed our look. I think it's time. Yeah, let's go with cool detective guy. It also appears like I have two badges on. That's how good I am at my job. I count for two detectives. I'm a one man team. Let's check out the boxing baddie brawl. What a great name. The baddie had dark brown hair. All right, how about super, super spiky dark brown hair? Oh my goodness, you look like a character from the Rugrats, and I love it. Or my son when he first wakes up in the morning. They were wearing long pants. I can't draw long pants, game. If you want me to draw long pants, let me draw to the bottom of the screen. Either way, um, let's give them yellow shorts. Next, you couldn't miss their teeth? What? What does that mean? Uh, okay, um, I guess I'm gonna give them big old, like, wait, first, first, you give them a mouth. There's their mouth. And then you give them, like, big old red teeth. There you go. That does not look right. There's, there's something definitely wrong with this human's everything. You should not have giant red teeth. And they knocked their head quite badly. Okay, so maybe that means that they have, like, a scrape or, or they're, like, holding their head? I don't know. Or perhaps there is blood gushing from the side of their head? Oh my gosh. Wasn't expecting it to get so graphic. Anyways, we're gonna use this. You look semi-normal. I'm kind of looking for someone who is much less normal. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? We'll just go ahead and move on. Okay, yes, I understand. So the person
person has a bandage on their head. So to be fair, at some point, they were probably gushing blood from their head. They got it bandaged up, so that's good. They're not gonna pass out. Is there something wrong with this person? I mean, they kind of have like crooked teeth, but it seems a little intense to be like, you will notice their teeth. It could be this guy though, to be fair. But then again, it could be this guy too. He's wearing long pants. He's got the bandage on his head. Oh, dark brown hair. Let's not forget dark brown hair. Okay, so it's not you. It could be you. I, I think it's this guy. So it's telling me that the two crooked front teeth are like, oh my goodness, you would never miss their teeth. That's kind of rude. I got kind of crooked front teeth, okay? I'm a little offended. All right, arrest this man. I hope this was right. No, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. I did jump into it a little quickly, but I thought we were on the right track. Let's try this one, the chip shop crook. Is it talking, chip shop? Is that talking like fish and chips? Or is it a shop that exclusively sells snacks? Guess we'll find out. Or we won't. The thief was on their way to an event. A wedding, maybe. Okay, so they were like dressed nicely, I suppose. What do they say? It's, it's a black tie event? Is it though? I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna give them a tie. Maybe maybe add some, some stripes to that tie. Ooh, fancy. Look at those very, very nice and uniform stripes art. I couldn't see their hair as it was covered up. Really? That's all the info you can give me? Okay, so they were wearing a hat. What kind of hat? I don't know. A blue hat with yellow stripes and funny little antennas coming out of the top. I can take some creative liberties here, right? Of course I can. All right. <laughs> We're going to try and figure this out. This is, uh, this is working with not a ton of information. You're not wearing a hat. Get out of here. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Could be this guy. Bow ties are wedding acceptable. We'll come back to you, though. <laughs> I was going to say, could be this guy. He is, uh... He's ready for a fancy event, for sure. But he's also not wearing a hat. So get out of my face. Maybe, but I can see his hair. And the person specifically said they could not see his hair. No, 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 no. You're not dressed to go to a wedding. Perhaps you're ready to go for a jog, though. Good for you. Get that cardio in, bud. Uh, it's you. What did you do again? Oh, yeah, you stole chips. Frito-Lays would like to speak with you. You're in trouble, pal. The streak continues. Feeling good. We're going with the stealing scoundrel. Did you see the uh the person who was describing the criminal? They had the craziest red ponytail just like sticking out of the back of their bald head. That is an impressive hairstyle, I would say. The scoundrel was in red. Wow, what a way to, to start off the description. I think I have an idea of who the criminal might be. Hear me out. Out. This individual is the only criminal I could think of that would be bold enough to commit such a heinous crime while wearing the color red. Oh my goodness. The perpetrator, it's starting to come together. We're starting to see it. There's only one individual who I could think of that could be capable of something so terrible. And I think we all know who it is. You think you're so innocent, don't you? Don't you? Ho, ho, ho. I'm on to you, Liz. Little Miss Piggy, I'm on to you. And there is our perpetrator. That's right, Peppa. You think you're so innocent? Let's see. See? Yep. In a noticeably good mood, Peppa Pig always got a smile on her face. In fact, sometimes she has a really big smile on her face. But do not be deceived. That is the smile of an insane pig. They needed glasses to read. Little known fact. Peppa Pig sometimes puts glasses on to read specifically. So as you can see, she's holding her glasses in the event that she needs to read something next. And they had something on their right wrist. Also, another little known fact, Peppa Pig sometimes wears an Apple watch on her right wrist. She likes to keep track of her daily steps. What have I created? How am I gonna draw a Apple watch? I'm just gonna draw like a little gray thing. <laughs> There you go. There's her Apple Watch. All right. I am quite pleased with this. And by pleased, what I actually mean to say is, is horrified. I'm sorry that I've done this to you, Peppa. Let's get our little piglet criminal. You're not a pig. Are there any pigs here? Pig, 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 pig. You, okay. You kind of look like a pig. I'm not going to lie. Let's keep it going. Pig? Okay. All right. Most of these people appear to be human. Don't let Peppa fool you, though. The criminal here, Peppa Pig, obviously, is just wearing a human suit over her piggy likeness. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to look for, for red. R red? I mean, you're wearing red. You're wearing red. You are also wearing red. And, oh my goodness. Can you say Peppa Pig in human form right here? I kind of feel like it. I kind of feel like this is the one. And they're wearing an Apple Watch. Oh my gosh. You, oh, Peppa, you thought you had me fooled. Well, I got news for you. I am the world's greatest sketch artist detective. And you have not fooled me. Behold, the power of my art. I know. Oh, I know. Throw that pig in jail. She's never getting out.